Yeah, Shelley, a lot of talk among people who live there, but one city alderman says at this point, it's too early for the discussion. New gates have led to headache for people living in one Manchester neighborhood, prompting another discussion on traffic control near the latest Walmart. At tonight's alderman meeting, some keep voicing their concerns. In my opinion, if you're going to have gates, have them at all the streets or have none. I was very upset that it was brought forward now because I didn't want to bring it forward right now because we still have a lot of process. Since Walmart opened a couple of weeks ago, people on President Road have made it clear traffic has increased on their street. I mean, this is ridiculous, putting all the, you know, all of it on one street. It's just not fair. At dinner time, there might be some traffic, but now it's, it's constant. And we just had an accident last Thursday um, at the stop sign, didn't stop. People just blow through the stop signs. They don't even stop them. City leaders say traffic isn't just from Walmart, but because roadblocks on Gold and Sewell streets have diverted drivers down President Road. At a city committee meeting last night, Alderman talked about the possibility of moving the Gold Street gate further down the road, allowing drivers to use Bradley Street. There is money in the conditions that were approved by the planning board in Walmart to gate President Road, but it's only something that's down the road. City leaders say it could be another six weeks before any decision is made. No one needs to get excited. This is something that's still under discussion. And city leaders still need to figure out how much it would cost to move the gate if that's even what they decide to do. It's also unclear who would front the bill. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.